Hey everybody, welcome in. Garbage Time Sports, Joe Shad going solo tonight. Wanted to give some college football thoughts and recap the day. Let's start with the biggest game of the day, Penn State, Ohio State. Yes, I am the guy, I am the Ohio State fan that posted a video two days ago picking Penn State to win this game. After watching this Ohio State team for years under Ryan Day, I just came to the conclusion that they can't win the big one. But I am very happy to say that I am wrong. And if I have to pick against my Buckeyes every single week in order for them to come away with wins in big spots, I will be the fan that does that. No, I'm not that fan that thinks that Ohio State has to win every single big game. I'm not that guy. But 2-7 and seven against top five teams is unacceptable. Why can't that be four and five? Why can't that be five and four? I don't think that's too much to ask. And yes, excuse me for being a little bit pissed off that we're 0-3 against Michigan in the last three. But today was a good day. I'm happy about today. Ohio State comes away with a win against Penn State. Ohio State's defense played very well. The offense did just enough. We'll get into the game. But off the top, I just want to say I think this might be a little bit more of a Penn State loss than an Ohio State win. Penn State starts the game, eight-minute drive, ends up with a field goal, but then the very next possession gets a pick six off of Will Howard. They're up 10 to nothing very quickly. But from there, Ohio State did not give up another touchdown. I was shocked to see how how well Ohio State's offensive line played today. That was a huge question mark going into this game. Their O-line did not look good against Nebraska last week. It hasn't looked good since Simmer went out at left tackle. But those guys stepped up. Ohio State out of nowhere all of a sudden could run the ball again. Will Howard made enough throws, got it done, and it was very, very nice to see the toughness of the offense as an Ohio State fan who has been a little bit frustrated and outspoken about Ryan Day's Patsy offense. I like Chip Kelly calling the plays. I like what he brings to the table. The offense is way tougher than it has been the past two or three, four years. And all the credit in the world to that Ohio State offensive line for making this very, very good Penn State defensive line not be able to get much done. The reason I think this is a little more of a Penn State loss than an Ohio State win is because they just had a couple of dumbfounding mistakes that absolutely cost them the game. It started with the unsportsmanlike penalty that gave the Ohio State Buckeyes a first down that later they scored a touchdown off that drive. That would have been a fourth down, fourth and seven. There's no way Ohio State's going for it. That would have been a punt. And all of the momentum would have been with Penn State because I think the game was 10-7 to at that point. Later on, just kind of unlucky from Penn State, that Ohio State interception in the end zone was one of the best interceptions you will ever see in your life. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the guy's name. Number one, what a play. A one-handed touchdown, able to get that foot down, just an absolutely outstanding highlight. And then late in the game, six minutes left, they're on the goal line. I think it's like first and goal from the two, and Penn State can't get it in. They run it straight at the Ohio State defensive line three times in a row. No creativity, no motion, no fakes, just straight up the gut. Absolutely dumbfounding. And then on fourth down, you know they're going to pass. Ohio State covers it up beautifully. That's secondary played outstanding today. And then Ohio State bleeds out, bleeds out the clock, and it's over. I don't think Ohio State played great. I don't think Penn State played great. I think Penn State played worse than Ohio State. That's why I'm saying this is more of a Penn State loss. But watching this game today and just watching the college football landscape, I don't think there is a great team in college football this year. And I have been hard on the 12-team playoff. If you watch me, you know I have been hard on the 12-team. But what a year to get to start it. I have no clue who's going to win the national championship. My preseason pick was Ohio State. Obviously, I'm really hoping that happens. But I don't exactly trust Ohio State. I got a ton of question marks. I think Penn State can play better. I think Penn State can play with anybody in the country. Oregon already beat Ohio State. Georgia struggling to put away Florida. Carson Beck has an interception problem. He's thrown multiple interceptions, I think, three weeks in a row now. They barely escaped Florida. That ended up being a 20-34 to 34 win. But if you're watching the game, that game was much closer than that. Pretty sure they were trailing at halftime. Texas got blasted by Georgia. Again, with Carson Beck not having a great game in that game either, but got enough to get it done. Texas A&M was looking good ever since their week one loss to Notre Dame, but they go down tonight on the road to, in South Carolina. Tennessee, you want to trust Tennessee with that offense? That offense hasn't looked good since week four. Injuries on the offensive line, freshman quarterback, all the things. It just hasn't clicked again. By the way, side note, underrated how good Hendon Hooker was in that offense because they haven't really gotten it rolling like that ever since he's left. You want to talk Miami? Miami puts up all sorts of points. Cam Ward is absolutely amazing, but they have not beaten a great team by any stretch. 
not to mention that defense is absolutely atrocious. They give up 35 every single game. They're just outscoring teams. It's an old-school Big 12 team. BYU, again, hasn't really played anybody. Indiana undefeated. We love Indiana. We love Indiana here on this channel. But it's extremely hard to trust Indiana to really get something done and go in at Natty. They got Michigan next week. They'll go play Ohio State the week after that. I can't wait for that game. And I also, I am scared to death of that game. Indiana looks outstanding. But we've seen it all year long. Big-time teams going down week after week. And it's not fluky either. Teams are just getting beat by teams that were better that day. Just today, you have number three Penn State go down to Ohio State number four. That's not a huge upset or anything. You also have Texas A&M going down to South Carolina. You had Iowa State and Clemson, both ranked 11th in the country. Exact point tie, not sure how that works. AP voters, come on, you got to separate those a little bit, whatever. Both of them go down today to Louisville and to Texas Tech. Kansas State loses to Houston. Houston was supposed to be a dumpster fire this year. That is a dumbfounding loss from the Wildcats. SMU absolutely dominates number 18 Pitt. And Illinois loses to Minnesota. More on Minnesota in a second, actually. But this is a fantastic year for the 12-team playoff because of this. If you look at the past several years, it would have been absolutely no point of having a 12-team playoff. We knew who the best two or three teams were. Ultimately, we had to figure it out, but four teams was more than enough the past two, three, four, five years. But this year, this year in particular, I'm very much excited that this is a 12 team. Because we just went through all of the top teams. You start playing, who do you trust? And the answer is, is it's nobody. You can't trust a single one of those teams. You're probably going to end up looking at coach and quarterback. That's going to lead you to wanting to pick Texas. It's going to lead you to wanting to pick Georgia. Maybe you're somebody who's just so high on Cam Ward. You think he's going to keep this up no matter who they play. So you're probably going to look for a quarterback you like. Default, you're probably looking at Georgia, and that's fine. But the truth is, nobody knows right now. And that's what makes this a lot of fun. 